Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dual boot Windows 10 with Linux Mint 17. Now, you will need to disable UEFI in Windows 10. If enabled, you will need to download Linux Mint 17, ISO, and burn it onto a disk, and also change the boot sequence in the BIOS to boot from that disk. All the necessary links are in the description box below. Assuming you have completed all the steps, right click this PC, Manage, Disk Management. To create a partition where we're going to install Linux Mint. As you can see, like most users, I only have one hard drive with one partition. If you have four or more partitions, I suggest you don't continue with this tutorial. Now right click your C drive and click on Shrink Volume. In my case, I have about 126 gigabyte available to shrink. So I'll create a partition, a 20 gig partition for our Linux Mint. In this case it's in megs, so it's 20, about 20,000 megs. Click shrink to create that partition. Once created, you can format it if you want and rename it or leave it like that but you need to make sure you can identify it once we start installing Linux Mint. Now place the Linux Mint disk in the drive and restart Windows 10. Because you change the boot sequence, it'll immediately upon restart will boot from that Linux Mint disk. As you can see. From here, click on Install Linux Mint icon. Select your language and click on Continue. Here, click on Continue. At least you have more than 10 gigs available. Yep. Okay, from this menu here, select something else. Continue. Now here, locate the partition we just created. Select it and click on the Add button. Now here, select at least 10% of the total uh, size of the 20 gigs. In this case, will be 2,000 megs. And select Logical, Location, Beginning, Use As, Swap, area and click OK. Once created, again select the free space or the remainder of the free space. Click on the Add button and then size I'm going to leave the remainder uh, um, partition to be used as primary. Uh, location beginning again use as ext4 with nothing changed but the mount point is the root click OK perfect now we have the swap area and the ext4 now click now select the ext4 partition and click on install now When you click on install now, make sure that under the where it says the following partitions are going to be formatted, make sure it's a swap and ext4, none other. If not, you'll end up deleting your main operating system, Windows 10. Click on continue, select the time zone, keyboard and layout, username and password. and click on continue to start installing Linux Mint. I'll fast forward this process. Perfect. Once done, click on restart now. Upon restart, you should see the grub menu. Here you can select to boot from Linux Mint or Windows. Of course, it says Windows Recovery Environment, but it's actually Windows 10 or Linux Mint. 
Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.